So today I'm going to show you why you're getting an error message like this. This goes for PC and Mac, but more so for Mac users. So if you have any issues like this, please refer to this video. We can help solve it real quick. Now, the most important thing about this extension for Mac more specifically is allowing Premiere to access all of your folders. So go to privacy, security, files and folders, and please make sure that whichever version of Premiere that you're using, if not all of them, please make sure that Mac is allowing Premiere to access all of the folders more specifically the documents folder and I'll show you why right now but please make sure that the documents folder on here is checked on now the second most important thing is on the same privacy and security go to accessibility and make sure that you have your version of Premiere on here as well to add it just click the plus put in your password and then select Premiere Just make sure that you have those things selected if not the extension will not work on your Mac now the most common reason you would get that error message and this goes for Mac and PC is because the extension works off of your documents folder so when you first install the extension it uses your documents folder to store the actual extension so all of the coding files and stuff like that are in your documents folder for Mac if you're using an iCloud Drive for example it will automatically try to put it in your documents folder in your iCloud Drive. Now, if you like to work on iCloud Drive, that's perfectly fine, but it gives you that error message because your iCloud Drive is full. And now here's a perfect example of how something like that would look. Now I tested this on another Mac with a full iCloud Drive. If your iCloud Drive is full, I'm assuming you don't really use it that often. It's just there just to be there. So I would suggest disable your iCloud Drive. Once you disable your iCloud Drive, go ahead and uninstall the extension in ZXP. Make sure to have Premiere closed and then reinstall the extension with Premiere closed and then reopen Premiere. And then just quickly verify that your iCloud Drive is no longer. Now the same goes for PC. I've encountered the same issue with someone else who had a OneDrive and in the OneDrive it worked the same way as the iCloud Drive. They completely maxed out the OneDrive. So this issue is because the extension is trying to store itself in your documents in your PC but since you have either an iCloud or a OneDrive that's full it's not letting it fully download into your system. Another thing a final note one thing that I see sometimes is when you click window extension the 640 extension doesn't appear there. It doesn't appear there because you installed the extension into ZXP installer with Premiere opened. It doesn't matter if you had it opened on the home page like this or if you had an open project. If you have Premiere open at any point in time during the install, it will not appear in your file window extension 640 extension. So please make sure to have Premiere completely closed when installing the extension. And that's pretty much it.